Hey there, friends. It's Nick with episode 353 of the Story Hacker podcast. And I'd like to thank any everyone who, who pointed out that I've got my numbers rather confused over the past uh, few episodes. We've been down in the 200s briefly, not the 300s. Anyway, this is episode 393. And I'm going to talk a little bit about placing your feet, how to place your feet. There's there's a lovely moment, or a couple of moments, in um, one of the Kung Fu Panda movies. I can't. It might be the second one, where Poe, our eponymous panda, is um, practicing a particular move, and each time he he does a particular thing with his feet, he places his feet, and um, that reminds me of when I was when I was a kid at school playing rugby. I played rugby here in in the UK. And uh, very badly, or at least I was in a very, very bad team. But um, but I was short, and in those days, unbelievably quite thin, and I played scrum half. So rugby is a game where, you know, you very often you want to knock over the opponent. And though I was small and not particularly heavy, one of the things that stuck in my mind is is our sports teacher saying to me, look, I know those things are true, but if you put your feet right, if you place your body right, and you aim for the right part of the other guy, he's going down. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter if you're small, it doesn't matter if you don't weigh much. You know, the bottom line is, however big someone is, their feet weigh about, about the same amount. And bottom line, if you get your arms around someone's legs, they're going down, Nick, he said. So, you know, you do that. And um, it was, again, it was all that, it was about making sure that my feet were in the right place as I came into the tackle, making sure that I was um, on the right trajectory. And the reason I'm telling you this, the reason I've been thinking about this is because an awful lot of the stuff that I've been doing this year, you know, in the last year, 18 months, building a new business, the meditation practice, you know, that getting away from from news, all of this kind of stuff, has really been about um, placing my feet in some sense. And it's one of the things that that also happens when I'm telling people stories. You know, and I've mentioned this before on the podcast, but I'm I'm in a week at the moment where I'm doing three I've done three story interviews this week. And yes, they are about um, marketing and about qualifying leads and about, you know, building a better business through telling better stories. But in each case, they're also about giving the person, the subject, a place to stand. Because very often, I think particularly now, I mean, certainly, certainly in the perhaps in the first half of life, you know, we are constantly reinventing ourselves. But I think... I think in in the the culture we now live in, the kind of the the fast internet driven tactical culture, we're also constantly we're trying to stand on shifting sands. And I've talked about this before. You know, I've got increasing antipathy, I suppose, to that kind of, that kind of tactic of the week mentality. And oh, now I need to be trying this or doing this or doing this. And I think I think it creates an awful lot of stress and it stops us making progress. Now, of course, we need to be flexible about what we're doing, particularly in business, particularly at the moment. But that's always true, really. You have to be flexible. But somehow, we've a lot of us, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm certainly been part of this in the past. Have replaced flexibility with sort of um, blind adherence to whatever the advice in front of you is, and because we. You know, we live in the internet world. That advice can change, you know, monthly, weekly, daily, perhaps. So one of the nice things about the job that I'm doing now is that, you know, if I'm if I'm doing it right, one of the things I'm giving my clients is that sense of foundation. You know, if we're telling us, if we're telling a better story, if we're telling a story for business, it. It means, certainly if you're working with me, it means that you're in it for the long term. You're building a business, you're building a career, you're building a personal brand, whatever it is. 
And, you know, what I tell these people is that, of course, the story is in some sense marketing, of course. But it is really about more than that. It's about, you know, rooting you deep and giving you that place to stand. And, yes, placing your feet. And um, I wanted to share that with you today, that idea, because I think if you are feeling in some sense overwhelmed or you know unanchored from from your life from your business from your results maybe maybe you want to take a step back and think about that foundation think about where you're placing your feet thanks for listening and remember your story means business <laughs>